Today I have a $100 Funko Pop mystery box from the company Plastic Empire. What is inside this box? This is the Holy S Word mystery box. Each pop was $10. If you bought $75 worth, it was free shipping. I bought 10 of them, so 10 pops, 10 bucks. This is $100 shipped out the door. And this had a total, I think it was like a thousand boxes maybe. I don't really remember it. Maybe a hundred bucks. I don't remember, honestly. It probably says, but there's a total value of $3,000 in this mystery box run. They've already taken off the page, telling you exactly what is in this. And also, I don't really know what's even possible anymore. Because I've had this thing actually in my possession for probably oh, a couple weeks at least. Maybe three, two, three weeks or so. So, I'm kind of excited to see what is in here. Because... It's a total mystery because I don't remember what was even possible, by, but the little, uh, or the web page on my phone, it just said the total value was three grand as like part of the title of this mystery box. And I actually thought about, I meant to actually go back and buy 10 more, but I forgot before they sold out. Because at 10 bucks a piece shipped, if you buy at least eight of them, I mean, it's a good deal. Yeah, I meant to buy more, but I just forgot and then they sold out and I missed them. Oh, nice. Each one is actually individually boxed, too. How nice is that? Awesome. So here we go. First one, we'll go through, open up all 10, and then we'll go back and look at value of all these and see how well I did or how bad I did. So I don't even know if there's going to be some big hits of possible or not. I can feel this one has no protector on it. Try to pull it out without damaging the pop. Okay, first one, we've got Wayne from Wayne's World. That is just a common, nothing big. It's a little ding on the corner, but yeah, it won't hurt value much though. Um, okay, so that's the first one. Nothing like overly exciting, but it's probably worth about what I paid for, for the box. So we've still got nine more to go through. I'm sure if one of these are in a protector, the box would feel a little bit heavier to me. No protector in this one either. Oh, we got a cool one though. We got Captain America from the newest in-game line of pops that they made. Okay, go back in. And number three. No protector. We What is this? RWBY? Never heard of it. Yang Zhao Long, RWBY animation. I don't know if that's a cartoon or what that is. No clue. Okay, that's the third one. Number four. Yeah, I'd just be happy to get out at least like one that wasn't a common one, but I'm sure for a $3,000 mystery box run, the majority of pops things are going to just be common pops, but there was some big hits available. Is this in, in a, oh, I about to say I felt a protector, but it tricked me. This, there's something loose in there. Maybe not, just, never mind. Lord of the Rings? I haven't seen this thing, sh this show for a long time. Bormer? I don't even remember. Don't even remember what it's even called, but yeah. Another common pop. I'm sure I butchered his name right there. And if I did, the comment section will make sure and tell me about it at least, you know, 45 times that I said the name wrong. But if I did, not a big deal. I say my own name wrong half the time. Let's see. Next. Fifth one. No protector once again. Just a common Jim Halpert. I've gotten like four or five of these out of Mystery Box now with Jim Halpert. Decent pop, but just another common. So there's the first five. First five are all commons. Five more. Fingers crossed that I get out something that's not a common. At least something. It'd be kind of fun. But with Mystery Box, there's, there's no guarantee. Next one. No protector, it's loose. Admiral Akbar. Okay. 
What year is that? 2016 pop. Admiral Akbar. We have mystery boxes. No guarantee that you won't get anything out besides just common pops. It's all mystery. It's all a gamble. Only buy these boxes if you can afford to lose your money. Because some of these pops won't be worth the $10 that I paid. Most of them would be close to it. Oh, we got the new Steve Irwin pop. This one just came out. I'm not sure when this thing will be published, but I actually bought a total of like 10 of these from Hot Topic. Try to get, to try to get chases out. That box is in my stack somewhere. I'll be filming here eventually in, in the near future. See if I can get out some Steve Irwin chase variation. Buckle Pops. And we got box number eight. Oh, no, they're common. We got Elisa with broom. Shape of water. I've never seen it. Elisa. I'll watch the movie eventually. I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it. But, I mean, I always give every movie at least, at least, at least a chance, you know. Next one, number nine. Oh, we got Gollum. Common pop. Yeah, no protector, so it's just going to be a common. Oh, Tyrion Lannister in battle armor. That's a cool one. So let's see value, because strong possibility I might have lost a little bit of money on these. So Tyrion Lannister is a whole $7. Gollum is $7. Boromir, whatever you say his name, is $9. Yang Zhao Long is $11. Wayne is $8. Captain America is $7. Admiral Akbar, $6. Jim Halpert, $7. Steve Irwin is $16. It just came out, so that price is obviously way high right now. But it's booking out $16, but that's not accurate. So these 10 pops that I paid a total of $100 shipped for are only worth a total of $78. This one's actually only worth about eight bucks because 16 bucks is inflated right now because it's a brand new pop. Honestly, these are worth about 70 bucks. Nothing was damaged, so that's nice, but I did lose 30% of my money. But with these mystery boxes, if I remember correctly from the ad on the actual page where they took it down, it said that there was some very, very big hits, like $1,000 hits in these boxes. So in order to have such big hits, the majority of people have to lose money. So on almost every single pop, I literally lost between 2 and $3 a pop. That's how there are the big hits in boxes. So, you know, was this mystery box fun to open up? Eh, in the long run, not really. It really wasn't. Uh, nothing big, all common stuff that's available right now at your local Hot Topic, FYE, GameStop. You just walk in and get it if you, that's what you wanted. I'm more of, of a mystery box. I'm going for the big pulls, you know? So to get out a bunch of commons, is it disappointing? Yes. To lose 30% of my money, is it disappointing? Yes. But this is the mystery box game. The next time I purchase, I could get something out very big. You just never know. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it basically balances itself out over time. You'll have some wins, you'll have some losses, and somewhere you'll be in the middle, the grand scheme of things. So, I'll keep buying these mystery boxes because that's what I do. That's what I'm about. So, I'll see you next time, and I'm out.